Oh my goodness. And there it is. Our first... Our first fruit. What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley where today we are going to check the weather. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. We're going to check the fortune teller. Spirits are neutral and we are going to check the living off the land. Got a spa in your town. Relax and hold still in the steaming hot water to replenish your energy. Ah, feels good, don't it? Uh, we do, don't, don't, maybe don't, I don't, don't 100% know. Do we have a spa? Has a spa been open all this time and we just never checked it? Uh, I did not want to pick you up. We're going to have to go check that out. We may have been missing out on that. Not that we've needed the energy, per se. But we do have the battery that we need to drop off in the box up there. Um, and it looks like our corn is ready. Oh my gosh, all the corn. Uh, we will go ahead and pick all of you. Now we need five quality. Five gold. Will we get five gold ones? Did we get them all? I think we got them all. Did we get... No, we got four. Dang it. Well, we should get it on the next go. Uh, we will stick you in there, though. Because um, we only need... We only need the melons and the... Not forging. It was definitely in here. Holiday crops. We need... We have the parsnips. In the mel Oh, we need the pumpkins. Okay. So we're a little ways off. No, we don't need the pumpkins. We just need the three. We don't need four. We need three. Okay, so we just need one corn, two melons, and... Where... Where are our gold parsnips? What... Happened? Oh, there they are. Okay. Lord. I thought we lost them for a second. <laughs> that... Oh... Uh, my heart. My heart is pounding and I'm freaking out because I really thought we lost them. We're going to stick a silver corn in there. Not because we need a silver corn, but because we don't have any more gold ones. Uh, we're going to sell... Actually, no. We're going to take you because I have a plan for you. Um, we're going to sell you, though, because I don't think Pierre will buy you. In the trash... We need to go ahead and put in the recycler. Alright. Let us see. Go ahead and water all of you. Actually, we don't need to water you because you have the sprinkler now. We'll water you though. And we are out of water. Water all of these things. And we will continue watering our corn, which is going to be a, a, a continual thing, because this goes right through fall. And it doesn't seem to make much financial sense to just chop these down. When we can just continue collecting them and make money off of them. Um, did we... Can't tell what we've watered. It's so hard to see sometimes. I think that's everything. Okay. Um, so we have the stuff for that bundle. Let's go check on our trees. Definitely a different tree. And we will say hi to both Cephas. And we will water your bowl. Water will definitely go in your bowl, sir. Uh, Alright. And our mushrooms should not be ready yet. They are not. I figured you have been sitting there for a long time and haven't grown. I'm not sure you're going to, if I'm being honest. You are part of the row I want to get rid of. And we have another maple syrup down there, so that's good. I'm gonna bust up you. And now we have a bit of a little pathway. If 
fact, we may eventually put a pathway down there. Grab you, or any of the rest of you done. You are not. We may just keep these three rows. That's what we might do. We will chop down the rest as they grow. Let's go ahead and grab all of this hardwood. down here as well. Now today we are going to try and go to Clint's so that we can get our axe upgraded. Our axe is the most important because before summer is out I'd really like to get in the uh, into the enchanted forest. So we're going to chop our hardwood. We are going to miss out on a hardwood chopping day. That is that is a definite. By doing this we need to eat something. Um, yeah, I suppose we can just eat one of our corn. That's fine. Don't think we got full energy last night, because normally we have enough energy to do all of this. I didn't pay attention when we woke up this morning. So we have all of our hardwood. We will not be able to collect our hardwood tomorrow or chop down any trees, because um, our axe will be being upgraded. But perhaps we can go down in the mines instead and do some other things. Let's go ahead, we will dump these things off, we'll go ahead and we'll just hold on to the hardwood for now. The maple syrup we're gonna stick in there, and the sap and the wood, all those things that so we're going to, we only need the three, we don't need you. Okay, let's go straight to Pierre's. No! Not straight to Pierre's. What am I talking about? We need you. We need all of you. Or some of you. Sorry, bonk the mic there. Um, I had to itch my ankle. Or scratch my ankle. Itch my ankle. Scratch my ankle. You know what I mean. My ankle was itching. Therefore, I needed to scratch it. And in doing so, I bonked the mic. So let's go over to Pierre's. We will sell what we have. We will head down to Clint's. We will get our axe going on the upgrade. Then we will swing up past the community center and looking for a buddy to bring me a red mushroom, Sam. Okay, we'll get Sam a red mushroom. I think we also, we do have one more day for this quest, which we can probably handle, I would think. Don't see why we wouldn't. Hello, Leah. Found some wild fruits this morning. Sorry, I don't have any left. Uh, keep looking. I'm sure you'll find them. I found some myself. I actually found a couple. Here, would you like one? This is a really nice gift. Thank you. All right. On Wednesdays, the shop is closed. Keep that in mind if you're going to need anything. Okay, I will. Would you like a grape? Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Okay, they both like grapes. Fantastic. Pierre... Need you to buy all these corn and all of these corn. All right, and that should give us enough. Do we need to buy anything from here? We do not. We're not. We don't have anything we want anyway. No. Although, how long does that take? Eleven days. Okay, there's not enough time to do that. Not enough time to do that at all. Let's go down here to Clint's. We will get our lost book. Found a lost book. We will eventually read all the books. I'm not that much worried about them at the moment. But we will go to Clint's, get our axe on the upgrading, so that we can chop down the bigger things. Steel upgrade. Thank you. I'll get it started. On, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. Okay, awesome. So, now. Now that we've done that, I think we are going to swing past the community center and then head into the mines and see if we can't get some slimes. Here's a secret. My sister loves wool. It's her favorite. Oh, I did not mean to show you a bughead. <laughs> I literally... I was like, here's my bughead. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
That was awkward. So let's head up and drop these things off in the community center. Because Boiler Room is definitely one of the ones we want to get knocked out as soon as possible. Mainly because it opens up the minecarts. And minecarts are super useful. So we have a copper and an iron. And as painstakingly as this is to use the gold for this, we have a gold. We have got a furnace. Well, it's not exactly what I would have hoped for, but it's not the worst thing in the world to get. So let's head on down. And off to the mines we go after we hoe up those worms and get more, more clay. And I see those worms over there. Just some stone. Abigail! Hello, my pet guinea pig David just hates this hot weather. He's fussy. Well, I mean, guinea pigs have a lot of fur, so... I saw a heron wading gracefully through the morning mist. Such are the treasures of a quiet life. A heron. Not a herring. A heron. I'm like... Heron, graceful... Morning mist, what? <laughs> but that, that makes a lot... A heron makes a lot more sense than a herring in that sentence. Uh, we should have brought the things to sell to the people. Head on down. 45. Let us see what we can do down here today. We need six slimes, and I see one. Slime down. Are you a special rock? You're not a special rock. Oh, we are low on energy. We will eat our autumn's bounty to boost our energy all the way up. And that was the last one of those. So we will have to find some other half decent food source. All right, and we are going to hoe up some of this ground because this has the potential to have different things in it, like clay. And that one didn't yield really anything worth half a damn, but. Did get another frozen geode, which is always a nice find. Um, are you the way down? You are not. We got a lost book. That's not necessarily a bad find. And a cave carrot. And another cave carrot. Alright. Now we just need a way down. There we go, and little bouncy cute guys. One second. Oh, I don't know if my allergies are acting up or what, but I have this this scratchiness in the back of my throat. It is rather awful, if I'm being honest, and it just won't go away.
I always forget that you swing your weapon in whatever direction. Like, you have to be... So even if I'm pointing this way, I still swing my weapon that way. If I'm pointing this way, but I, I'm over here, sometimes my weapon swings in a direction I don't want it to. And I end up missing out on the kill. And I end up getting hit myself. Another frozen geode, which I will gladly take. Can we find our way down? We're gonna have to end up eating these cave carrots. I'm hoping we can make it down at least uh, a couple more levels so that we can make some progress. And we haven't seen many slimes, unfortunately. Maybe we'll get lucky in the next level there'll be a bunch of slimes. Let's go ahead and eat these carrots. Was that actually going to let me place that in here? No. Yeah, yeah, it will. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I mean, it might not. It Sometimes it'll give you the green and then tell you no. So I guess that's possible. Where are the steps? Get them already and I'm just missing them? There they are, Jesus. This might not have been the best day. To go on We're not gonna hold up that ground because we I mean we need the carrots, but it burns too much energy. It's not it's not worth it in the grand scheme of things. We'll take out these bats though. Because the more bat wings, the merrier. Although that is not something we really wanted to have to deal with. Not this many bats. Can we find a way out of here fast, quick, and in a hurry? We'll take the steps as soon as we see them. Ugh, we are out of energy though. Do we have anything to eat? No, we have absolutely nothing to eat. Um, well, I guess we didn't have a lot of time anyway. With the remaining time, we'll just kill these bats and head on out. It's unfortunate, but it will have to be what it is. Uh, we didn't really get a whole lot. We got the two geodes, so that was good. We did not get the slimes to complete that quest and that quest only had one more day on it so we are not gonna get this one unfortunately and that was a lot of gold too that is unfortunate we will have to remember to grab a red mushroom and bring it to Sam on the morrow let's head on back we'll pick up this grape and the spice berry and this other grape. And we might... Uh, do we want to hold on to those? Or do we want to just go buy some food stuff? Probably the better food option, honestly, are probably these. Are probably the mushrooms, if I'm being fair. Because we can collect those almost every day. And the even the regular mushrooms give you like 38 uh, energy a piece. So they're not bad. I don't think they give you that much health, but they definitely give you energy. And energy is a thing we certainly run out of more often than not. But let's see. We will go ahead and place you. And we'll pick up the geodes. We'll pick up you. We'll pick up the bat wings. The slimes we were not putting in here. We were putting in this chest because we need the slimes for the bundle. Uh, we will put all of these things away. And we're just going to take these mushrooms. We're, these are going to be our food source for now. Uh, we could make could make a couple of field stocks, but I don't know that that's the best use 
of that. Um, pick that up. And... Pick up the stone. Okay. These three things we're just going to sell. And we will hold on to the mushrooms. We will get these two things going. Boop, boop. We will sell you. Boom, boom, boom. And we will... Say goodnight to Bocephus. Well, we've already talked to him today. We'll put our mushrooms up there and tuck her off into bed. And there we go. Leveled up 9 on foraging. Plus 1 axe proficiency, new crafting item, rain totem. We can now make it rain. Make it rain. This will actually come in handy because if we run into any fish that can only be caught when it's raining, this will be extremely useful. Like, for instance, if I'm not mistaken, yep, the catfish can be caught in the rain. And the catfish we can catch in the fall, I think. So, if we can catch the catfish in the fall, and we don't get enough rainy days in the fall, we can literally make it rain every day till we get the catfish. If that's what it takes. But all of that will be for naught if we can't buy a red cabbage from the merchant. Because the red cabbage is required in order for us to complete that, that one bundle. Level 4 combat. Warrior ring. Okay, let's see what that's about. And there we go. We have a little bit of gold. We did not sell our hardwood, so that might be something to do with that. But I'm, I'm going to start saving the hardwood because now that we're going to have the upgraded axe, there will be so much more hardwood we can collect. So let's check the weather. Welcome to Kozu 5. What did that say? I completely went right past it. Clear and sunny. All right. And the fortune teller says, spirits are perturbed. And I keep hoeing the ground. I must stop that. All right, we got two iron bars. We'll pick you up in there, because you will go for our pickaxe upgrade next. Um, anything else we want to do in here right now? No, nope, not at the moment. We will grab these blueberries, and we are actually going to hold on to a couple of these, because we know that the mayor likes them. So they will make for good gifts. And all of our... Are you ready? You are ready. Our one star fruit is ready. Oh, that's amazing. And it's a gold one. Oh, we're keeping it. We are keeping it forever. God, look at the energy that gives. Uh, yes. We're keeping it until we get a seed maker. And then maybe we'll plant more. I don't know. We're not a farmer. We're supposed to be doing lumberjack stuff. What do you do? Oh, are you kidding? Okay. For a second, I saw this over here, and I'm like, tell me we got a gold one out of that. We got two. We're fine. Uh, and actually, we can just take you, and take you, and... Oh, no, we can't take you. Oh, crap. Okay, well, you can go back. Go back. We were one corn shy. I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry. Do we have a melon already? We do. A few melons can just be sold. What else do we have going on? We need to water all of you. It should not be an issue. We will just water that one. The other's watered already. Auto magically by our lovely uh, uh, sprinkler. Am I close enough? You, you. You, 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 and finally you. We got all good stuff to sell out of the crab traps today. And we will rebait you right now. And sell these things because we have no use for them currently. We'll walk up and tell Bocephus hello. Hello, good sir. And we will put water in your bowl. Oh my goodness. And there it is. Our first... Our first fruit. And we are going to just straight up collect you. You can grow up to three fruit per tree. Like, three fruits... Like, a, a fruit. one fruit will grow every day. And then... 
you can wait until three days and then collect it, which probably is the most efficient way to collect it, but we are grabbing that one fruit right away because we're going to need that for a bundle, so we want to make sure that gets picked up and in a safe spot. So, we are on our way because we have the cloth and we have an orange. So we are making some good progress, and while we are at it, what does it take to make one of you? Wood, stone, and coal. We can totally do that. Uh, in fact, I definitely want to do that. I want to do that and, you know what? We, we are going to make some things. We are going to make some things right now. Uh, what do we need? Iron for both? No, iron for you. We just need one, though. We don't need, we don't need three. Let's be, well, I mean, we could make three. Mm, no. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna save our iron so we can upgrade our pickaxe. We're going to... No, I need... We did have trout soup. Ah, uh, it was in the fishing chest. Oh, I'm such a derp. We didn't need it, though. Um, wood, stone, and finally, coal. Now, where do we want to set these things up? We're going to make a preserves jar. We're going to make... We need the maple syrup. Where is... Where is the maple syrup? Right there. Now, we already have one for what we need for the bundle. Yes. Okay. So, we're going to make a bee house. Just one bee house. We are going to make... Tell you what. We're going to make... A few of those. So, the bee house... Where do we want to put this? Oh, my gosh. Um... I don't think we can plant flowers there. And planting flowers is going to be really important when it comes to the bee house. So, I think maybe down here might be a good spot to go. I guess. Let's, let's think about this. We don't want to go too far. We want to kind of keep all of our production stuff right here. I think I can set this on the grass, but I don't know that I can plant anything on the grass. Which is the problem. Um, we will have to for science that later. So, what we're going to do is... Yep, yeah, we're just going to set you right there. That's where you're going to go. And the preserve jars. We are going to start making a line of you. Back this way. There we go. And do we have anything to put in you currently? We have some hot peppers. Um, you know what? Let's do a hot pepper. Let's do... What else do we have? I guess we have stuff in the... We have stuff in here. Um... We'll do the tomatoes and the corn, because we're definitely going to get more of those before the season is up. So we'll do a tomato, a corn, and a hot pepper. Fantastic. That should be awesome. We'll eventually use the fruit from our trees to put in those, but... And we can't collect our hardwood or do any of those things because we don't have... We do have a mushroom over here that we will go and collect. Oh, of course, you had to be a different mushroom. You know what? I'm just straight up going to eat you. Cause you're just... You're taking up a spot for no reason. It's ridiculous. What is the matter with you? Uh, we do need... I know what we need. We need... No, not a sap. We need one of you. We need one of you for Sam. And we are going to go search for Sam. That's what we are going to do on this day. I mean, we'll probably do other things, but we're going to go search for Sam. Sam, oh Sam, my good buddy, are you over here doing kickflips? It's a Tuesday, so you might not be. You might be at, like, work or something. Hello, Elliot. I've encountered some beautiful shells in front of my house. I would imagine the rare varieties would be quite valuable. Uh, probably so. Rainbow shell is pretty valuable. Leah! Let me say hello to you. 
The sound of farm animals is great, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I suppose it is. Can I get in your house? I can. And there you are. But I can't get in your bedroom. Ah, uh, that sucks. Um... Sam? I have your mushroom. But it doesn't seem like you want it. Because you are in your bedroom playing your guitar and you won't come out. Hello, Evelyn. George is always a little less grumpy in the summer. The warm weather softens his bones. You might not be able to tell, but I can. I've known him for 60 years. Oh, that's great. Been together 60 years. Or maybe, well, I mean, they might not have been together 60 years. They've known one another for 60 years, for sure. I mean, that's that's basically what she said. She didn't say that 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 they were together for that long. I mean, George might have been like, you know, she might have like dated the football player in high school or something, and then George wasn't, you know, wasn't the guy. Although he's in a wheelchair now, so I guess he could have played. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's possible he got injured playing football, and that's how he ended up in a wheelchair. I don't really know. I don't even know if they tell you that story. They might. They might tell you that story. Hello, Mayor. I do all my grocery shopping here. Well, that's great. And you're just gonna say it again. Air is so thick with honey and nectar all summer, I almost feel dizzy. Um, is there anything we need to do with you? I don't believe there is. We could. Takes eight days. Nope, not enough time. Not enough time. I don't even know. Takes seven days. That would be the 23rd. Would we get a honey out of that? For science. We're gonna for science it. Let's go say hello to everyone. Uh, breathe. Uh, breathe. Ow. Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. Exercising can be fun. My arms are strong. But my legs need work. Don't look. I'm all red and sweaty. go down here. Is Sam still playing his guitar? That is the question. Have we killed enough time? I heard someone come out of a door. Sam, was it you? Cannot tell. Are you still playing the guitar? You are not. You're out and about. Where are you, sir? Did you go this way? I do believe you come down here sometimes. Where is Elliot? I don't see Sam though. I don't think Sam comes all the way over here. Let's go. And now he goes to the beach with the kids some days. I don't know if he does that every day. Or if that's just on like the weekends. I'm sure somewhere online somebody has mapped out every single person's daily activities throughout the entire year. Of who goes where and does what. Are you... No, Penny. The kids are with Penny. Are you down here by yourself perhaps? At any rate, we can grab some of these things. You are down here. Perfect. You are down here by yourself, in fact. Here is your mushroom. Hey, thanks a million, Jack. I should have known you'd be the one to take this job. I mean, does anybody else do these jobs? Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. I just... Goodbye for now. Okay. That was the weird conversation. I came for the sound of the ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? It is quite beautiful. Would you like... Uh, this beautiful shell. Thank you. You do like it. You don't love it. But you, you liked it enough to say thank you. It might have been a mediocre gift. But it wasn't the worst of gifts that I could have given you. Because you did say thank you. It could have just been like, eh, well... I don't particularly like that, you know? 
bubbles, no bubbles. No fishing bubbles. I suppose we could go down on the mines, although it's rather late in the afternoon. Willie's probably closed at this point. So we can't sell him these things that we have. We can just drop them off in our bin. And we might do that. Let's head on up. And we will drop these things off in a bin and swing up and go into the mines. I think that'll... Actually, we'll bring all the things to sell. We'll sell all the weapons that we no longer need. And we'll collect the sap and we will throw that straight in the bin along with you and you and you and you and you and sweepy and we'll hold on to everything else wood and stone and coal and fiber and our one poppy seed uh, can we we cannot we cannot plant you in the grass as I well no, because we can't hoe the grass, so we can't possibly plant you in the grass. We have to plant you in a spot where there is ground to be hoed. So we're going to just plant you there, and you should be close enough to give us poppy honey when that happens. Um, everything else good to go. We just head straight up into the mines. It's a little late to be heading in there, but I don't think we'll make progress down to the next uh, elevator checkpoint. But, I mean... It's fine. We'll get we'll get down there nonetheless. Sooner or later. And you never know. You never know what you might find in mines. Linus, this grape, sir, is for you. This is a great gift, thank you. Do 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 into the mines we go at 820, which is a stupid time to be going to the mines. Oh, we were going to grab all the things. Ah, I forgot that quick. Oh my god, my brain. My stupid, stupid brain. I forgot that fast. Oh my god, what an idiot. I am such a dummy. You are running out of there rather quick. Without our axe, we have all of our energy for the day. Can you please hit the rock? Frozen geode, which we will gladly accept. Can we find the way down? Way down, please. Please, we need a way down. This is not boating well. Oh, there we go. All right. Take you out with extreme prejudice. Grab the quartz. Don't know that we need the quartz at this point, but I guess it can't hurt to have. Oh my god. Look at all of you. Another crystal fruit. So that's good. We could use a crocus now. The snow yam, I think we can dig up down here. If I'm not mistaken. And that was one of the winter foraging deals. And we will take you out post haste. Oh, hit you with the wrong tool. Although, if I would have pickaxed a bat, I mean, let's be honest, it would not have survived past the first swing. That would have been the end of that bat. 
There's just no way. It is getting late, so we are just going to hoe up this ground down here in hopes for a snow yam and then head back up. We gotta be heading out no later than 1 o'clock. By heading out, I mean already up on the surface level by that time. And we didn't find anything. That's okay. We got a little bit of mining done. Tiny bit. If nothing else, we got a geode. So let's trek it on back rather quickly. Can we get up there now? We can. Okay. That was what the noise was a few episodes back that I never went and checked. I thought I thought it was going to be a meteor and then like I don't think anything was said the next day or maybe I checked it and I just missed it. I don't know. But I completely missed that. And we can go ahead and pick up the things. No, not you. You don't go in there, genius. Uh, you go in there, you go in there. Frozen Geo goes in there. You go in here. Cave carrots will stick in there. Crystal fruit can go in there. Slimes will go here. And that is it. Off the bed we go. Screen jumped a little bit there. And the bed. What do we get for the day? We got something. An achievement of some sort, maybe? Melons. Did okay. Did pretty good on the foraging. Okay on our fishing. $2,600. Not bad. But that is going to be it for this one. I do hope you guys enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. We did, in fact, get a new achievement, Cowpoke, right here. We made 50 k That's fantastic. But I will see you guys in the next one. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. I will see you next time. Take it easy.